Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I am checking out a really, really cool side quest game called Puzzling Places. And what's even cooler about this is this was made by Realities.io, who does all kinds of cool photogrammetry stuff. And the photogrammetry stuff that we're about to look at is actually fairly local to me. Um, I, I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm going to be pulling together the start button here to start a new session, and we're going to be going to a location that I have passed multiple times when going south. And this is the Devil Slide Bunker. So as you can see, there are five pictures at the bottom here, and there are multiple puzzle pieces, lots and lots of them to be honest. Um, so we've got just a little corner here, and I think that goes with this here somehow. I'm not sure exactly how yet. It's like maybe, maybe not, actually. But we've got this little piece here. That might go to that. Yeah, there we go. And then I feel like this will go here too somewhere. But let's uh, actually pull this one up so we can get a better look at it. Because we're going to try to fill in that circle first. So again, we've got uh, maybe this? No. I think this goes together, though. Somehow. Yeah, that goes together. Okay. And then does this go here? Yes, it does. Okay. So we're starting to get to that second piece. But what I love about this is it's, it's even got kind of some background noise of the area, uh, which I'm sure you can hear. And I just thought that was super creative that they included all of that. Um, I don't think this actually goes here. I don't really have a, put, a way to put it back yet, so let's just uh, let's just set this aside for right now. I think I just pulled one a little too soon, and that's kind of the trouble. Whoops! Picked up a photo too soon too. So let's see here. So if we put that there, so we've essentially got this wall done. Now we need to go to the side. So that's actually. This, if we look at this picture here, uh, the next side would be that FAZ there, which I think this is part of. So let's see if we can... There it goes, okay. And then there's like a greenish colored thing next to it. I don't think that's it. That might be above it though. So let's see. What else can we pull in? So many pieces. And as you can see, it's it's forming a, a three-dimensional object here. Let's see. So that greenish color, that looks right. Is that this right here? That is. Okay. And this is starting to form the side of the bunker here. So this was a... This was a World War II bunker. And I know this goes here, but I think I'm missing some pieces in between. All right. What's this one? No, that doesn't fit. But it might fit on the other side here. Let's see. No, not yet. OK. So this was a World War II bunker. Um, and now it's kind of just there. And this actually fits here. That's beautiful. And this piece might fit right here, like that. And does that fit? It does. So we're already starting to build this up. That's awesome. Now this is 360 degree photogrammetry. Uh, which means they took many, many pictures to, f to f build this out. I was going to say flesh it out, but build is the correct term. 
let's see here. Let's, uh, let's grab this one. I'm not sure where this goes. Maybe here. We find a way to wedge that in. No. Maybe it goes up here. No. Maybe it's down here. It's hard to say. All right. So this one is about the same color as that, but I don't think they go together. So let's look at the side here. So we've got this kind of black and red spray paint because we need to fill in this side as well. I'm going to take this one. I don't think this is it, but maybe? No. Kind of feels like this fits maybe up a little bit further up. So we've got this side going. So I don't really need that one, I don't think. Let's see what we can do next here. So we've got this graffiti, which doesn't seem to go on either of these sides yet. I wonder if we can fill in the top part of that. So that's just the phase. It's got kind of like a... Hmm. So I don't want to have a whole bunch of pieces here, but at the same time, I feel like these will start to go together after a while. I feel like these two are close, but not yet. Let's try this one. Maybe? No? Wow. Maybe? Maybe? No? Okay. So I'm going to put all these red pieces together, at least, for right now, until we can figure out how they form. I just feel like the red should somehow form a pattern. Might go. Nope. 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 Maybe. There we go. Okay, so there's two. Now, the interesting thing is this curves upward, and that's where you start to see more letters like that. So I'm wondering if we just have to. No, this should definitely go. I feel, I feel like this should go down there. I might be wrong though. Yeah, this is the ground. And this is more of the ground. So this could be like this even. Let's see, are there other colors, other red pieces, other graffiti pieces to build out is the question. That looks like almost a red piece. Let's see how this might fit in with this. Kind of goes together. There we go. All right. so it gives you an idea. Now the question is how did these fit together? Does this go oddly like that? No. Okay. So if we look at the red graffiti, that's on this one. So what we've got right now is actually this piece. And I'm not even sure where this fits in yet. Because we haven't got that wall built yet. But we do have this part of the wall. So if we can find that purplish colored piece, which I think that right there is part of, this might help us. There's that, okay. So we're starting to, starting to form this wall. 
This should go up here now. Perfect. This should go here. And we're starting to build up this side now of this object. So if we go here, that connects those together. We're starting to build out what's clearly supposed to be there. Uh, this doesn't fit here yet. Let's see. So this actually goes kind of on top in this area somewhere. We're not quite at the spot where that fits yet. Maybe we are. Is that right there? No. Okay, so we'll, we'll continue working toward that. For now, let's, let's turn our attention here because I think this goes right here. So that red is really helpful. Now what we need is the purplish colored pieces. If we can find those. And, and here's another piece that seems to shape what would be a side here. So let's see if this goes maybe. I feel like this is not yet. I think this is the other side over here actually. So yeah, that's that's not going to help us yet. We'll keep that to the side. And what we're going to look for is that purplish color right here. So let's see if we can find anything that looks like that. Like this one. That looks right. Boom, there it is. Okay. So I filled in another piece. Now comes the tricky part because we're going to have a lot of pieces that look very, very similar to each other for the top half. I wonder if we can find the side instead. I also wonder if we can put these down when we're done with them. So like this one is mostly configured at this point. Of course, we don't have the top yet. Uh, we do have this though. And I think that fits right there. So this three-dimensional object in front of me is definitely starting to take form. Um, let's see. So again, we've got this piece, which just sort of fits here. It's, it's similar to this, actually. But it's not fully realized yet. Um, we've got that side pretty much done. I feel like this kind of side piece should go like right here somehow. I'm just not sure how. I feel like they're laughing at me now. It's kind of funny. I know that's not actual laughing at me but it fit pretty well. <laughs> I don't know where this piece goes. Doesn't seem to be here or here, so we'll set this aside for right now. Let's see if we can find any more with graffiti on it. That piece seems to have a little bit of graffiti. But the question is which graffiti? Or does it belong on the side here? certainly does not look like it. That does not fit there. Alright, let's try this side. I think this goes over here somewhere. So much awesome artwork on here. And I love that they preserved it like this. This is this is very sweet. I just don't know where that goes yet. I think that might be part of this side. Which we have not started yet. That's the side over here. Maybe that's why I'm not finding any of these. Because this 
And this seemed to go together. EO. Yeah, so that goes. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe this way? So this is kind of over here, but there's still a piece missing there. This is kind of out here somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure how that goes yet. We will figure it out, though. Let's go here. Okay, so we've got that. It even says bunker on this. On that piece. So the question now is, is does this go somewhere here? Doesn't look like it yet. Maybe. No, not yet. There we go. Okay. Now does this go somewhere? I don't think so. Not yet, at least. Okay, how about this one? Nope, not yet. Okay. I hear a fly. How about this? Does this go here? Okay. Now, does this somehow connect here? It looks like it should fit. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So our big, huge piece is starting to come together. Now the question is, how does this overlap happen? There's that. And then... Does this somehow fit over here, maybe? Because right now there's nothing... Nothing to even indicate that hole. I don't know. Maybe? There it is. Okay. So we're starting to form up the top half of the bunker now. Now the question is does this fit somewhere? Not yet. Doesn't seem like it, at least. It's getting there though. This definitely feels. There it goes. Okay. I love this. This is so cool. And as the puzzle forms, of course, you can see more and more of the structure. Let's see what this one is. This little dog. I haven't seen this graffiti yet. So that is on the side over here that we're just building out. Um, this side. How far up is it? It's actually over this way a little bit further. Right there. Okay, so now we've got graffiti kind of with a hole in it with more graffiti. So we've got that dog. I don't think this fits here. No, it does not. Hmm. Let's try this one. I have a feeling this goes right here, but I have to figure out how. There it is. Okay, so we've got the heart there. This just seems to be a big hole. Like a dark. I have no idea how this is going to fit. That's what it looks like. It looks like this just kind of sits inside of... I don't know. Let's, uh, let's cast that aside for right now. Maybe it's this one first. So... Yeah, 
this could be anywhere though. That's the problem. There we go. There's that piece. And does this fit here somewhere? Let's try turning it around a little bit, maybe. Hmm. I feel like this should fit somehow in here. Oh, okay. I see the purple. I saw purple on this side, so let's do... Let's try it. I don't think it's going to fit. Yeah, that doesn't fit. Feels close, though. Close to what I'm looking for. Whoops. No. Okay, so we'll toss that aside again for right now. This is definitely very jigsaw puzzle. Um, let's see. Do I see a beam that looks like that anywhere yet? Doesn't feel like it, but it's probably down here somewhere. So we'll put that aside for right now. I really just want to find more graffiti style pieces. And I'm not I'm not picking those up right now. So let's let's go back with this. Let's see if we can fit more of this together. This is so weird to position. I feel like this should go somehow here. Is there a blue? Okay, there we go. So there's a blue side right here. That puts that in. Maybe this will now make sense. What I'm trying to do is line it up so that it clicks in there and it looks like it really does almost fit there but not quite so let's uh, give up on that again for right now. Let's see, is there anything else? This looks like it might have some graffiti on it. Whoops. That's just a piece of wall. But let's see. This looks like it might go right here somehow. Maybe not. Let's see. Hmm. Looks like I'm totally wrong on that. Okay. Let's see what what else we can find. This looks like it probably fits in here somewhere. There we go. It's another piece of that. You can figure out how to position it. We've got a little bit of the red wall here. That, that red wall right there, actually. that there we go okay it's so weird to actually be like building inside the building that's that's the part that's kind of throwing me off i think this goes back to 
the weirdly colorful one here. Does it work? There it goes. Okay. Now if we put this back. There it is. Alright, so we finally got that piece. Now there's probably just a black, like, circular hole. Maybe this one? That seems to be right. But now we need to figure out how to... How to arrange it in that hole. Maybe this way? There it is. That is so cool. So now I'm looking at it. I can see into the graffiti there. That that is very neat. All right. So what do we want to try to accomplish next here? Still lots of pieces to go. Lots and lots to do. And the trouble is we still got the whole foundation to do too, so like this piece probably goes somewhere around here. But hard to say where. And there's there's a whole lot of that. I've just been focused on the, the top portion, but there's there's all that bottom as well. Let's see. It else looks like structure. This looks a little bit like structure, like the bottom part of the structure, or maybe not. Maybe it's the top. It is the top. Interesting. All right. So, an orange color. This could be actually up here, which is interesting because I hadn't even thought of trying to fit it. There it is. Okay, so there's like a little chimney stack there. And then this is potentially the other half. There it is. Okay, so we're starting to actually form more of the structure of the bunker. There's not a whole lot of this left. I know this doesn't fit here, but Let's see, maybe something else will. What's this piece? No, that's not going to fit anywhere. Alright. Just trying to find something where this wall might go. It could be here somewhere. Not exactly there, but that looks potential. Um, that goes there, that's for sure. this one. Does this go here? Right. I think if I turn it a little bit, there we go. So there's that piece. And let's look for more of that top piece. If we can find pieces that look molded like the top. That is not it. side's pretty much done at this point, except for anything under the rag top, which is all rock at this point. And I guess we can start building out the grass layer. This looks like it would fit together. But this is like way down in the corner of the screen.
So chalk is this. So this, yeah, this is way down the corner. Um, it's that one down there. Not that one. That one. This looks like a piece that would be somehow curved inward. Maybe this goes in one of these weird. There we go. Okay. So now, does this somehow fold in? No. Hmm. This is a weird one because you've got like a wrap there from this corridor. I'm not sure how it how it forms. Let's see if we take this. No, that's just grass. I don't think that's gonna go here at all. Does it go up here though? Somehow. It does not. Okay, how about this side? There we go. So now I've got the full rooftop of that piece. And we need to find that's just a bottom piece. Hmm. So this is another corridor. I think this is actually where that wrapper goes. I feel like that goes there somehow. There's that. So the thing I'm not sure of is how this fits in. Because that's like a devil, it looks like. Like a devil print. And this is not a devil print by any means. Maybe though. No, that, that does not fit there, I don't think. Okay, so let's see. There's a lot of ground to capture. Still. Let's just pull all the pieces a little bit closer so we can take a look at them. I feel like these two might somehow... The lighting and everything looks very similar on them. Maybe right here? Yeah. Alright, so we're starting to flesh out this bottom layer. So this is more across the top. Now I've got pretty much the top going. I just need to figure out this like slate piece right here. That's not it. But they've got the pockmarked ground here. One of these might might just fit here. Nope, not yet. Okay, that's fair. So this is another piece. I think this goes right here, like that, okay. So we have a top roof layer, pretty well contained now. Now we need to figure out where this like bottom layer goes, like this piece. 
still I haven't seen this graffiti yet in any of the images. Might be that one down there. I don't think it goes here. I don't think it goes here. Pretty sure it doesn't go here. Maybe here somehow? That rag top there doesn't really have anything except for ground below it. And this just doesn't feel like it fits anywhere. I know all the pieces go somewhere though. They have to fit somewhere. Got lots and lots of... There's that little edge finally. like these these are all going to start to come together as we go this looks like that pockmark part maybe here nope not yet so put that over there Nothing that rings a bell just yet. Here's a bit of a folded in rock. Of course, we've seen a few of those. I feel like this should somehow. Maybe this goes here? No. Okay, that's okay. We'll find it as we go. Here's another slightly curved in one. Not yet. Another piece of rock. Trying to find pieces that will still somehow line up with what we have so far. So eventually we'll start to find like this pattern here and how that meets up with the rest. Do these two somehow fit together? Maybe? No. Fairly close though. Alright. Let's go back to this side. So now this is going to be on the dark side over here. Does it fit here though is the question. Nope, doesn't seem to. Maybe this side? No, not yet. But I'm telling you, this is, this is, this is looking promising finally. Lots of rock. And lots of ground. Okay, so this one's got a little bit of a blue hook to it. Is that right here somehow? There we go. Okay. So unfortunately, at this point, the puzzle completely crashed, which was unfortunate. I was getting really good progress. I was getting to that ground layer, but I think you get the point. I, I really like puzzling places. That particular puzzle is available if you go out to their Patreon page, which I will throw a link to uh, in the description of this video. But it, there's other puzzles available as part of puzzling places on SideQuest as well. I picked that one because it's actually legitimately you'd say close to home. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.